Hey guys. Normally I'm not a um, depressed bad sack thinking about well, you know killing myself. I know that there are some people that are like that. They, 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 they don't they don't they don't get over that. There are some people who don't get over that, but I know one person on YouTube who was briefly but seriously thinking about UNAM in 2017. Yeah. And I just recently got the news that my grandma died. So now we have not just grandpa in heaven, but also my grandma. Yeah. Took a huge toll on her for the most part. At first, she fell and broke her hip on February, and um, then she got COVID. That, that, that was a huge down on my well being. And I mentioned to my dad that sometimes people make vlogs to let people know where they are emotionally. And that that usually works out pretty well. Like Jack Flip the guy made a short film called Fifteen Months showing the over two years that he's been battling with depression, he's been taking it into depressants and such. And for the most part, it does help with your emotional state to make a vlog about it and um, talk about it, <clears throat> you know, try to be the voice for someone who doesn't have a voice and wants to help others, you know, deal with their life, you know. And yeah. Sometimes there's a there's a, there's a feeling that the story you want to write has been replaced with a story that's been written for us. Like for instance when when they gave birth to Joel Green he had like cancer and he only lived about five years. The green parents were very much like a Christian family. A Christian family. They had actual Christian values. Like some people who say they have Christian values, but really are corporate scumbags. No offense, but. Uh, Yeah, the reason I'm making this vlog is to let you guys know where I am emotionally. There won't be any progress bar in any five videos right now. I'm going to take some time off to get my emotions together and yeah. That that can really help them um, when you're um, dealing with stuff like this. Just, yeah. I tend to ramble when I'm not in the best of moods, you know? Like I'm not with the um, grandma dying at all. I will say I really, really loved her. She made great cookies. 
she was able to calm me down when I was feeling sad, you know. And I really do miss her. I really do. And unlike with Grandpa, where I was really crying, my emotions were a little more under control, but inside, <sighs> I'm feeling kind of depressed today. Not only did she make really good cookies, she was, she was like a guardian angel to everyone. She uplifted people she met. Well, she was not the best that came from my mom. Let's just say that. I'm not glad she's gone, but I'm glad she's in a better place. Let's keep it that way. Anyway, I'm going to take a little break to put myself on a little hiatus for now. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get my emotions together and uh, see you guys then. <laughs>